Welcome back to the Learn Dash Bootcamp. Now that we have a course created, let's take a look at our lessons and topics. Let's go over to the Learn Dash menu and click on Lessons. Here you'll see a similar interface to what we saw with the Course Builder. We have a list of all of our lessons, as well as what course the lesson is assigned to, and we have a settings area. These are the general settings for all lessons. So you can control which taxonomies can be used to better organize your lessons. You can add some custom post type options, like if the lesson is going to show up in a search, if lessons have their own archive page, and more. And we have the actions drop down, which will give us access to the lessons categories and tags and the built in WordPress categories and tags. If we go back to our lessons area, we can add a new lesson with the add new button. But because we've already created a lesson with the course builder, let's click on the first lesson that we see here. This is assigned to the course we created earlier. On the lessons page, you'll see the editor with a title that we've already given the lesson and an area to add lesson content. You can see that this has full support of the block editor, so we can add dynamic content to our lesson. If we go to the settings area, we'll see all of our lessons settings. You'll notice that they've been moved to their own screen so that they don't obstruct the block editor. We can add lesson materials, so downloads or HTML. We can add video progression, which will allow us to embed a video into the lesson. And this will accept a URL, iframe, or shortcode. We can also choose when to display the video before completed substeps, which means that the user will need to watch the video first before completing the rest of the lesson, or after completing substeps which means that this will be the last thing the user sees and they will have to watch it in order to complete the lesson. We can also choose whether to auto start the video and if we want to show the video controls display, so the stop, start, play, and pause buttons. We can allow for assignment uploads and we can force a lesson timer. A nice touch in this lessons area is that there are tool tips for each option. If you see the question mark icon next to the toggle, you can click on it to reveal some helpful text. And if you don't see the question mark, you can hover over the toggle to get a tool tip bubble. The last few settings are access settings. So we can choose which course to associate this lesson with. We can make the lesson a sample lesson, which means that it will be freely available to anyone whether they are enrolled in the course or not. And we can choose when the lesson will be released. It could be made immediately upon enrollment. It could be enrollment based, which means we can choose the number of days after enrollment for a student where this lesson will be available, or we can make it available on a specific date. So if you have an enrollment period and you close that enrollment, you can choose to drip out lessons based on date. If you have a rolling enrollment, you can make every lesson available immediately, or you can drip out lessons one, two, or 20 days after the student enrolls. We'll keep this at immediate. If we go back to our lesson page and add some content, and then if we click update and view the lesson, we'll see our content, and then any subsequent steps, which is topics, and quizzes. If we go back to our admin area to the topics, you'll notice that this area looks very similar to the lessons area. There's all of our topics. There's the settings screen where we can control information about the topic taxonomies and how our topics show up on the front end of the website. We have the actions. And then if we click through to one of our topics, we'll see the content area and we'll see the settings. Just like lessons, we can add topic materials, video progression, assignment uploads, and we can associate our topic with a course and a lesson. So that's it for this video. You now have all the basics you need to create your own course with LearnDash. In the next few videos, we're going to look at enhancing those courses 
by adding quizzes, user registration, and selling your courses.